Hi, welcome to Acorn Sign Graphics. My name's Owen and I'm the general manager here. Come on in for a tour. As you enter our plant, you see we've got banners here, kind of giving you a feel for the type of work we do. All of the items here were produced here in our shop. Now you walk into our receptionist area. We've got a receptionist sitting over here. Her name is Lois and she handles billing and receiving. Uh, we've got a nice conference room in here. Come on in, we'll take a look. We hold our sales meetings in here and we meet with clients and we've got a nice di digital display board. Uh, it's part of our Navari system which we are a license holder for. Uh, electronic message boards kind of thing. Every, th every good sign starts with a good top design and we've got a design staff of five designers. All of these guys are talented, lots and lots of experience. That's Melissa over there and Matt and Tim and Justin. These guys work in a combination of Illustrator as well as CorelDRAW and Photoshop. We can take just about any file type, manipulate it and do what we need to do. As you can see, we've got pictures on the wall that kind of gives the person a, a feel for the, the work that we have done. Uh, you know, making signs, we don't keep a lot of finished product around here, which is a good thing. As you walk into this area, it's kind of a dual mixture. It's a little bit of sales and some fabrication. Uh, we call this our clean area for that. Uh, we do all of our digital printing and vinyl graphics and that kind of thing here. We've got a sales staff that fluctuates, oh, eight to ten people, and they're, they're all busy. We got Mike, he, he does a lot of uh, construction estimate for us, and he's got an assistant named Jen. And we've got Keith and Rob and Mel and Hunter and Ann, all great guys. Um, when you call in, these are the guys that answer the phones and really keep this place rocking and rolling. As we move over here, this is our digital area. We've got a, a JF, Mamaki JF flatbed UV print, printer which prints directly on the substrates and it's running right now so we can take a look. The way projects flow through here, we get the artwork in from a customer, the designers tweak the colors, it's sent electronically back here and then it comes out on the flatbed and right here we're running some coroplast and we're printing full color graphics. We also have a roll to roll printer which does solvent based inks. Uh, we pr produce banners and large decals and that kind of thing off of that machine. We've also got various vinyl plotters. Uh, we can cut up to 54 inches on this Mamaki plotter here. We keep the color of the rainbow because they're all over here. And we like to use uh, only the best vinyls. So we use primarily high performance vinyls. Uh, most of them have an exterior life of seven to nine years depending on the product. And we just, we keep a fair amount in stock and all of that kind of good stuff. Um, all of our sales staff have got uh, recycling baskets at their workstations and we keep one by the copier. We managed to cut the waste that we were sending to the landfills almost by a third just by putting into the recycling bin which handles cardboard, paper, and all of that kind of good stuff. As we come through the shop, our shop's really divided into two areas. And back here, we kind of envision our shop as a, as a wheels of a spoke, with the center area being the assembly area, and then we've got various workstations set up around the shop so work flows in and out. Over in this area, we do a lot of photopolymer, and we've got an, an Orbital 10 photopolymer machine with workflow manager software that we use for creating artwork. Our normal lead times went down from maybe two weeks down to five or six days. So we're really, we're really rocking and rolling there. We've got our assembly team here just busily working on some interior sign projects. We work in all sorts of mediums. We work in plastics, acrylics, woods, metal laminates, uh, you name it. We've got experience one way or the other of being able to help it. We've got this room set up. We've got two CNC router machines. Uh, we've got, they're both basically five foot by eight foot routers. Uh, this one actually has a camera in it, which will go down and read these registration points that were printed on the digital printer up front, and then we'll cut out the shapes. Um, we've got two guys that work back here full time, and they cut all sorts of acrylics and woods and, and some metals, and the typical shop environment. 
And then back here is our painting area. We've got what's called a semi-downdraft booth. The air comes in through the top, across the product, and out the back door. Uh, we mix our own paints. We use a combination of the, the Matthews acrylic polyurethane as well as the Axco Nobel paint system. Uh, we can match any PMS color paint manufacturer. We can, we can do it all, which is a good thing. We also do screen printing in-house. Uh, we mainly use it for top coating the top parts of ADA signs. And uh, we've got a screen printer who, who can mix inks by hand. Uh, we do you know, just the typical screen printing operation. What we don't do is t-shirts. We don't get into textiles, but anything else that's hard and rigid, we're there, we're on top of it. We also do a fair amount of engraving. We've got three rotary engraving tables, and those are the tables sitting here. We also have a laser engraver, and that allows us to laser cut plastics and acrylics and uh, do some of our ADA work. Um, some metal etching, we can etch, we can put a coating on the say stainless steel and etch that and get a black coating here. Kind of goes with our green friendly technique. We've got a lot of guys who ride there who live close enough that they can bicycle in and that's what they do. So it kind of helps, helps the environment and we're all about pushing for that kind of thing. You don't see a lot of signs laying around our shop and there's a reason for that because we really try to push what they call the lean manufacturing techniques which means we, we try to schedule our production flows so that a, a job flows through here in such a way that there's not a lot of wait time between say uh, the printing and the routing or the routing and the painting. So we don't have huge piles of stuff laying around uh, unless it is a really large job which then we try to break it down into smaller sections.